First is six closure tonight for a local family who waited 16 long years to bring their mother's murderer to justice. The 84 year old was beaten and strangled all over $20, and now her killer will spend the rest of his life in jail. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket with what happened inside the courtroom and the clue that led police to this killer. Simon. Yeah, Joanne and Carolyn, this sinister murder was over a purse with just $20 in it, and now the killer is going away for good. It was a violent murder that's plagued the family of 84-year-old Helen Klossick for 16 years. Since 1999, detectives working to piece together this case and prosecute a cold-blooded killer. Today in court, a sentence of life in prison without parole handed out for this man, Nosakare Anumanu. On March 2, 1999, you chose to take the life of another human being. Her name was Helen Klossick. She was our mother, a grandmother, great-grandmother, and a friend. She was 84 and a half years of age, stood four foot five inches tall, and had a bad knee. Helen's daughter has called this man a monster who brutally beat and strangled a grandmother, then left her body in a back alley behind a church on Joy Road. If he had simply stolen Mrs. Klosick's purse for the $20 or so she probably had in it, and not beaten and stomped and choked her to death, a tiny helpless woman. He almost certainly would have gotten away with the money, avoided being prosecuted. DNA evidence from a Kevlar glove left at the scene would unlock clues 12 years after the actual crime. Detectives and prosecutors never giving up, eventually matching the DNA to Anumanu, who was already in prison for four other crimes and soon to be released. We should have been able to hear her laughter, enjoy her sense of humor, and her joy at seeing the grandchildren and great-grandchildren. She loved being with family during birthdays, holidays, summer outings, a weekday dinner, going to the mall, and all the other family doings. Instead, all we can do is feel pain in our hearts and minds for what you did to her. Now, the convicted murderer maintains his innocence, even saying he was framed, and in fact, he does plan to appeal. Live on Detroit's West Side, Simon Shaket, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right, Simon, at least a little bit of closure for that family. Thank you so much.